How Charlie was doing that? Charlie was like. <laughs> Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Annette. And your boy, Stanley. Listen, look, I, I never do these intros right because this ain't what I do for a living. But let me do, give it to you right. If you're not a subscriber already, and we call you all family members, hit that subscriber button. Doo -doo. Don't yep. cost you nothing. We don't charge you nothing, and you don't even have to get on Patreon. It's that easy. Yes, indeed. If you want to know every time we drop an exclusive, boom, 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 there's a bell right there. Make sure that that bell is pressed in every time we come indeed. through. Mm -hmm. You will get an alert on your mobile devices letting you know, hey, hey the players, we got a new video. Building. Yes, indeed. And go ahead and while you're at it, hit that like button because that gets us into Google algorithm and we need subscribers. Not really, but it's good to have it. It's yeah. bragging right. Good to have more family. Yeah. Yeah. We're about a year in this game and we got 6K. I don't think we're doing half bad. Yeah. And it's all because of y'all. So y'all share. Appreciate you. Look, we show up, y'all share. That's how we do this thing. So again, but let me tell you. Uh, what up? I was going to say this episode right here. Was the episode? I was scared at first because it was going really, really slow. And at first, I said, "You know mm -hmm. what? I cannot deal with Ralph Angel and his 101 emotions." I said, "He's more emotional than Tyrese. He's more emotional than the game. He's freaking more emotional than um Ti." I'm like, "Dude, get it together." Ralph Angel is on a permanent period all the they got the one time, but he turned it around for me. So. It's called the line of our elders. So we start off and you got Ra and you got Nova. They're standing in front of the plot. And the plot is actually a line of the ancestors that have mm -hmm. owned that land before Daddy Bordelon. So, of course, yeah. Daddy Bordelon's name is at the bottom of this list. Now, we notice that Charlie isn't there. Ralph Angel's in his feelings and he was like, because Nova went to take a picture. picture yeah. To send it to Charlie, and he was like, Charlie should be, be here. here. If she really wanted to be here, she'd be here. But Nova said, your sister mm -hmm. is making history, history right today. Now. She's going to be the first black woman to own a mill in, in Louisiana. Louisiana. Get out your goddamn feelings. It is what it is. Hey. We just gonna have to break this thing up. She do her, we got we this. this. Yeah. Now, what I didn't understand was, okay, I do understand it now. I just came to me. I was like, why did they have to do it on that date? But I guess it's their one year anniversary. That came around quick, didn't it? Yeah, that came around real quick. I'm guessing. That's what I'm thinking in yeah, my mind. Come, yeah, it came around. Because I was like, y'all couldn't have did this at a later date, but I guess it is the one year. So everything is happening on this day. So, um, after they ended up, you know, going head squash, did y'all see that little heart they made with their hands when Ralph Angel and Nova was holding hands? I thought that was cute. Y'all ain't catch, catch that. Y'all better look at them graphics. <laughs> so they go inside. Ralph Angel is trying to... Look, y'all ain't been poor until you don't had to mop up some goddamn the water, water that the, came out of your refrigerator. Yeah. That's when you get your hood cred, for real. Yeah, when that model sucker just start defrosting all oh, by, by goddamn self. <laughs> and look, and See, when you get tired of swap, you just take a whole bunch of towels and just push it to the yeah. front. But you used to <laughs> piss me off about that bug skin. It would do it overnight. And oh, you, yeah. When you come in the, in the like, kitchen, come in the kitchen oh, with your feet bare and step on that cold water while you be like, ah! <laughs> be like Marv on got doing uh, oh, Home Alone. Oh. <laughs> so Ralph Angel, he's getting the water up. And Nova decides to take her tail over there to sit at her dad's. If y'all hear it, I, my sinus is acting a fool to that. To go sit at Daddy Bordelon's old um, desk. Yeah. She feeling on the chair arms and stuff, you know, feeling her father's vibe. Yeah, she got to be in the moment. And all of a sudden, she goes in the drawer. And I, I said, said no, oh, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it. Please don't pull out the ladder, please don't pull out the ladder. So she did pull out an envelope. And I said, oh, skit. She found it. So she goes over there to Ralph Angel. And she said, who is Shadow Enterprises? He said, the hell if I know. Yeah. She said, well, daddy got a check for 600 some bucks. And Ralph Angel said, well, that might be enough to get us a new get refrigerator. Get us a refrigerator. Well, of course, you know, Nova ain't going to let this gonna go. She's going to let that go. Yeah. So Nova basically follows this check all the way down to Daddy Bordelon's employer. The employer that he had when he passed away. Yeah. That no one knew that he had. 
the only person that had an inkling that he had a side gig was Mr. Prosper. Mm -hmm. So she ends up going down there to this place and she talks to this white lady that's at the desk and she was like, I have a check with my father's um, name on it. Do you know what this is all about? And she said, you know, Ernest did not leave a lot of information with us when he was hired here. Um, we basically packed up his locker and we just are holding it. But yes, he was employed here. He was a janitor. He was hired to mop floors mm -hmm. and scrub toilets. And that broke Nova down. down. Yeah. And ever since then, she's been in a terrible headspace. Mm -hmm. But she can't let nobody else know this because this is a big day. Yeah. This is the keep day. On yeah. yeah. They already did the plot of the line of the elders. They get ready to go to earn his headstone, and then you still got to go over there for the ribbon cutting for the Queen Sugar Mill. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, this right here is gonna get in my, go, just gonna mess my emotions up. All the freak ready. So um, we see a scene where Ralph Angel, him and Blue are at the store, right? At a little convenience store. He gave him a little water. Um, little Blue got a little something, something too. We got a little, milk. Yeah, yeah, a little milk. milk. <laughs> he ain't get no true move. No, that's an inside joke. <laughs> so, when he goes to pay for it, I said, oh, skit. skit I thought he was at the skit. same store that he arrived. I was like, I know you can go back to the same store. The clerk looked up at him and said, oh, oh. I think I know you. You made me lose my job. Uh, you made, my, made me lose your job. And I said, oh, Lord. So, this is a clerk that was at the store that he did rob. She yeah. got a new job. She got fired from that job mm -hmm. over here where he at. And Ralph Angel was like, um, I don't know no, you. I don't, I don't know, know you. you. And then it clicked. Yeah, he yeah, went yeah. in his back pocket. I said, Threw that money. I said, Ralph Angel, go, don't, go. Don't, you black. Don't don't do that. Don't do this hand motion right here. Don't yeah, do this right here. Going for a gun. That's, that'll get you killed. You threw the money out. Gone. The girl said, You a liar. You a liar. And a little blue light. Like, what? What the hell is going on? I never, here? I never understood people who lose a job when the this place get robbed. I don't know. Maybe they've supposed to have been following a certain protocol. But when you at gunpoint, there's no protocol. go out the freaking window. You're going to do what you need to do not to get shot. Hey, what's the effing procedure <laughs> when you got a gun, gun in, in your head? Yeah, what you do? You she said. <laughs> you comply. You go in there. I, you, you want all the money? You want all the cigarettes? Hey, you want all the lottery tickets? You can Ain't have no. all this bullshit. I don't own none of this. Oh, say Pilot paying you a good 755 flat. And bad part about it, what happened if you get shot, the owner probably won't even take care of your family afterwards. Oh, no. Matter of fact, he ain't even coming to you, or him or he or her ain't even coming to the funeral. <laughs> they're going to see you some of them got those discounted flowers that they got over there at mm -hmm. Strangers. And they're going to send them to the house when you ain't there so the flower be dead by the time you get back. Hello. Look, we work for corporate America and they do that bullshit. So, um... We over there at Queen Sugar Mill, you know, um, Charlie's trying to get everything straight for the day. You know, they got the caterers coming over, da 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 Well, she's sitting in the office, and of course, you know, Dollar has started working that day. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to even see Dollar right now. I don't like her. <laughs> she freaking, she's a Barbie murderer. She stole that she goddamn thief. doll, baby, for crack. The baby is over there at the pawn shop. That's my she story. She ain't get no crack. I'm sticking to it. She ain't get no crack. I'm never going to forgive her for that. She stole a doll to get her mommy rights back. I will never forgive Darla for this. <sighs> see, this is this. See, this why I don't... It ain't about the Barbie doll. Let me go ahead and, and, and tell you what I got a problem with. It, right it ain't the situation. It's the principle. That's it's it. the principle. See, what happens is he got doing crackheads. Even if you <laughs> don't smoke crack no more... If you've ever smoked crack once in your life, you have crackhead tendencies for life. <laughs> so you, you never know, get delivered? You will never get delivered from that skit. You know how like when you put something on your credit report and that skit never goes away? Crackhead <gasps> tendencies never go away. Let me show you what happens. So you can't dispute the crack addiction like you dispute your you credit report? You can't dispute skit. <laughs> Write a letter, get a lawyer, do all of that. And I'm going to show you how it came up. Everybody living good, doing what they need to do. We brought the family back together. Dang. Dollar comes up. She clean now. But this old, the old crackhead in her, she knows how much her son loves that guy doing doll, baby. Okay? <laughs> follow me, follow me. Mm -hmm, gotcha. But because she's in her freaking feelings, that crackheadism, ism, ism, came back to the, to the surface. Because you know, a crackhead. So the crack started talking to her again. 
Everything is about how they feel. So she was intimidated by this doll. She thought that he was replacing her with the doll. So in order to make me feel better about myself and me being better, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the doll because it makes me feel better. Buck my son and how he feel. Buck his feelings. <laughs> Because I'm a uh, 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 crackhead. You need to go ahead and come off that show box. It, it's all right. It, it's cool. She pissed me off. Blue, I'm never going to forgive her. Blue, Blue is past it. He not past it. I mean, yeah. he, he almost passed it. Did you see him drop that baby at that goddamn grave site? And he realized him on the road. See, she did all of that. Broke her son's heart all over again. But Rap told her she, that yeah. it ain't going to work. He she, said he going to recognize that it ain't Kenya. All because it made... Her feel better. Buck my son. Buck that is gonna break his heart. I'm never gonna forgive her. So I guess it's hashtag I'm a crackhead for life. Crackhead for life. You know how priority <laughs> Nissan say once you a family member for life, you're a priority member for life. Uh huh. Okay. No turning back. Ain't no turning back. See, even though you don't smoke it no more, you still got the mindset. Hello. Hello. That what you saying? Yes. That's what I've been saying since day one. Me too. That's why they motivational speakers. But you the one that said that she had you in the socket place and I had to snap you out she of the did. I had, Yeah, I had to come out. Yeah, she yeah, she had me for a second there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you had to flash the camera at me. All we are just so like, boom, 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 boom. Roll camera. Boom. So we see this big bouquet of uh, flowers that Sam Landry sent over there. Now, you know Charlie that thought that it was her mother that sent him over there because she's not going to be there. But no, it's the Landry's talking about some welcome to the, what is it? Welcome, welcome to, to the, the game. Well, yeah, well, something like that. Club. I said, you bastard. And yeah. I said, you ain't learned nothing from the have and have nots. David said, get them goddamn flowers out of here. Yeah, because it's probably got a bug in it. Exactly. But some then, cameras on, yeah. Hey. And then we see Dollar. She ends up, and she should have, she should have burnt her titty off. <laughs> She ends up wasting coffee on herself, right? So she can't go to the ribbon cutting ceremony looking like that. So she has to, everything got to be about dollar once again. She goes upstairs because Charlie was like, you know what? You ain't got time to go home. Go upstairs into the barracks and get um, one of my outfits and put it on. So she goes up there. She's looking around, doing what she got to do. And she found this dress. And at the same time, Micah came up there. And I'll give her credit. That wish can tie a tie. Tie a tie. So she got Micah together, whatever. Then she came downstairs with her nice little um, black dress on that she had courtesy of Charlie's closet. But I can't say she didn't ask for it. She was going to walk around. She was going to walk around there with the coffee stains on. And the perfectionist and Charlie was like, no, the fuck you ain't. Hey, you ain't making me look bad. This is the best day of my life. You ain't never lying. We're going to be looking good up in here. Yeah. So, um... Fast forward a little bit. There's a reporter that came to do a story. I don't like this dude. And, ugh, I don't like it. It actually was supposed to be this other guy. I think the guy's name was Adam. Was it Adam? Something like that. Yeah. And Charlie evidently was very familiar with this other guy, but she don't know who this dude is. Yeah. And he was like, I assure you that I'm very good at my job. You know, I know you were expecting him, but you, you'll be fine. So she went ahead and gave the stamp of approval to go ahead and turn the recorders on. And basically, it's going to be a day in the life of Charlie, Charlie. the first black woman to open up um, a mill in Louisiana. So he asked the questions that you would normally ask, you know, what inspired you to do so? Mm -hmm. And she gave the story about how, you know, she wants to continue the legacy of her father. This dude started turning everything around mm -hmm. into personal questions. Mm -hmm. So where's your husband? Why isn't he here? Yeah. Was he a great influence? Um, why isn't he going to be here for the... I mean, everything turned around to that. Yeah, but like, that's, that's, that's what reporters do. Yes. They start off with the right questions, and then they turn to the personal questions because they want to trap you. So I got a feeling he's been planted by the Landry's. Something ain't to right. To try to pull some information up out of them so that he can take it back, so he can re do the real reporting back to them about what's going on in the mill. Yeah. So I give it to Charlie. Once Charlie got a story, she's sticking to it. She did the same thing with Davis and all this uh -huh. good stuff. Everything yep. going crazy in the background. But on the forefront, boom, I got this. It is what it is. So he's still just going in with the questions, you know. Um, but you came down here, left everything. You were in Hollywood living it good. To come down here to do this, um, this and you uprooted your son. 
she said, listen, I told you I did this for the legacy of my, my father. father. Um, and that's my story. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And he was like, bullshit. So moving forward, they went ahead and had the ribbon cutting ceremony and whatnot. And at the in the middle of the ceremony, um, Charlie had said, you know what? In order to show a sign of unity, I've asked every farmer that's going to be a part of this Queen Sugar Mill yeah. to bring a portion of their crop and throw it into the hopper. Got to bring your 10%. <laughs> to bring your tithes <laughs> to the church, buddy. To the storehouse, to the Queen Sugar Mill. Uh, so there would be meat in thy house. That's right. So all the farmers came and did that or whatever. And they were going to take... But first, dude was walking around and he noticed that Charlie and Remy had a little vibe. Mm -hmm. He's talking about some, the reporter talking about some, well, you know, where do you fit in here? You know, uh, says Davis don't know much about farming. Uh, yeah. So, so how did you, how do y'all know each other business? He said, no, I'm like a, I'm a son to yeah. daddy boy. I'm a friend in the family. So you're like siblings, huh? Yeah. I was like, a... push this dude in the hopper. Yeah. Spin him Chop around. him up. Spin him, spin him. But, so then they went ahead and got that, got the um, crop over there into the hopper. So while that's happening, they're out mingling, doing what they need to do mm -hmm. with the guests and whatnot. Everybody's, you know, telling Charlie what a great job she did, blah, 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 blah. Then we see Ralph Angel with his emotional A. He <laughs> walks over to Darla. And I'm not going to be hard on Darla right now because I gave it to her just now. And I'm so I'm not sorry, but I'm sorry y'all had to hear that. Uh, he was like, so now you working for her and you wearing, wearing her clothes? clothes? I said. She was like, no, I, I no, no, like her. No, no, no. <laughs> it's no. not like that. It's not like that. She said. I waste coffee on myself. He said, <laughs> but you look good, dog. Yeah, I knew that was coming. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Like, why you didn't just say that at first? So he will pull off to the side. I said, what y'all not going to do is, is um, Christian, this guy doing Queen Sugar Mill before Charlie get to do it. I know mm -hmm. that. Yep. Got to let some crap get, make some money through there first. <laughs> yeah. God darn it. So, um, next thing we know, we hear all these alarms going off. Dun, and, dun, 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 and dun, Charlie's dun. alarm went off. Charlie went running up the steps. Into the plant she went. Well, come to find out there's been a jam. What They called it something else. In the chopper. Yeah, in the chopper. Which means that we had a plug. I mean, a clog. Yeah. So, I mean, it happens. Yeah. Got, Remember said, this happens. All the this time. This is happening all the time. They just going to clean it out. We're going to shut down. We're going to clean it out. We're going to be good to go. Charlie like, oh, hell no. But I'm like Charlie because when it comes to things that I'm very passionate about, I need things to go off without a hitch. Mm -hmm. So she's like, today ain't the day. We trying we to got, prove ourselves to these people. We got people. 100 people out there. And I stopped jamming up on the first day. Like, oh, hell no. She was like, move out the way. Move, move, move. Give me, get this stuff. <laughs> Let me get this stuff. <laughs> How she do it? <laughs> <laughs> and everybody was looking. Michael was like. The what hell? the hell was going on with my mama? And here come the goddamn reporter, Michael Myers, motherfucker. He, come, he over there looking like this. And Darla went to him. She stepped to him. I appreciate that. I ain't on your team yet. But she went up, She said, you better not put this on record. I said, I said, get him. That's, see, the, the crackheads ain't scared of nobody. Uh -uh, they ain't scared. Uh-uh. Crackheads ain't scared of nobody. Matter they fact, do scared. Matter of fact, she, matter, I ain't going to say it. What? I ain't going to say it. What? She going to throw him in the house. <laughs> <laughs> she had, at this point, she ain't got nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. So then, Charlie had her breakdown. And by this time, the only people that was left after the aftermath, because <laughs> she scared the hell out of everybody, was Nova. Of course, it was Nova. Mm -hmm. And Charlie had a real moment of guilt. And Charlie was like, Daddy had been calling me a long time trying to get me to come down here mm -hmm. and I always was too busy I was too busy with Davis's bull skit I was too busy with my life in over there mm -hmm. and um was it I keep saying Hollywood but I hope it is Hollywood and I just oh, did God. not make time to come down here and by the time I got here it was too, too late. late he was dead Nova he was dead so this is when Nova had a truth moment with her sister because you assume because someone is so close yeah. that they're always, you know, in passing or, you know, visiting each other and whatnot. She said, Charlie, 
she said, I can't really remember the last time that I spoke to my father, but she said by the time I got to the hospital, he wasn't able to, to speak. Yeah. I said, oh God, I'm about ready to bust into was, tears. Yeah, she, was 20, <laughs> she was 20 miles away. I said, shit. <laughs> but I, I don't know. <laughs> This is kind of reaching the dark. They haven't planned this in the in the script yet, as far as the, the background of the relationship they had with Ernest growing up. They talk about a the relationship they had with the mom, because um, Charlie brought that up. The mom wanted to be perfect and all that kind of uh -huh. stuff. But it's kind of ironic that the girls wasn't attached to the dad like that. Cause most time, girls are daddy's girls. So, so I'm wondering did. Did something go wrong as far as with Ernest? I think we he gonna, cheated. Yeah, he che yeah. That's why girls say I know he cheated, but even still, then girls have a way of kind of looking past that if if the daddy is present. So I don't know when he started cheating on that woman or well, cheating on, on the mama. Did he just abandon them? Yeah. And so their retaliation is okay. I don't care what the fuck you gonna do up there. I'm gonna... abandoning you now. You know you need me when I needed you when I was seven, eight. You need that other puss. <laughs> So, deuces. I'm doing me, and you do you. So, I don't know. There's just a reach. What y'all think? <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> that happens today. I mean, it happens today. That's how I, I've seen, you know, not saying that it's the right thing to do, but as being a human being, when people get over on you and, and do bad to you, they be like, you get to the point, what? like, get, forget you. I'm just going to do me, you do you. You call me for help, I say, I ain't got time. Because you didn't have time for me back then. Back then, you didn't want me. Now I'm hot. And what? You all on me. That's how I do my dad. I said, buckle. Mm hmm. And is it, uh, yeah. Can't nobody change my mind about it. I'm, I'm too old for it now. So, um, Nova um, decides to have this real life moment with um, Ralph Angel at the mill as well. I think it happened a little earlier on. Yeah. And she was all broke up in the face. And there was no denying that something was going on. So Prosper even was there. Prosper was like, do I need to leave y'all alone for a moment? She said, no. No, you family. You family, so you can hear this. And she said, did y'all know that daddy had another job? That he was scrubbing Sorry. floors and, and scrubbing toilets. Um, And Prosper said, I knew that he had something else going on. But I would never say nothing you know what i mean yeah. just you know basically that's that that's my dude yeah and he never he never told and him he never what told he told him what he, was, what he had going on so because of uh -uh. him not farming and doing his passion that like really just broke mm -hmm. nova's heart and i was like at first i was like people get part-time jobs all the time to make ends meet mm -hmm. but it kind of it has so many layers to it it's almost like yeah. when you put everything on the line and it still fails. Exactly. And now we're trying to go and follow in your footsteps. Mm -hmm. What example is that? Am I going to fail the same way as well? And then also, you went out there looking for help when probably if you asked us, we probably could have helped you a little bit. You know he what I mean? Did. He did. Well, try he to tried. He tried. But he, yeah, didn't, he didn't say exactly. Yeah, he tried to get Charlie to come out to, to help him out. But yeah. like you said, I don't know what their relationship was for her not to drive. I want to know. And I want to know about these mamas because they keep being brought up. Yeah. More and more. Now, we know that Nova's mom is deceased. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming that it's Nova and Rapper Angel's mom. And yeah. Charlie's mama is just... So, I wonder if Charlie's mama is the one that he cheated on. Ralph Angel and mom with. Cause Charlie I think it's so because I think that mm -hmm. um Charlie is in the middle of both of them. And I think that they have the same mom. So evidently somebody when he went on that trip and got there got doing little little um <laughs> that thing that Nova side at with yeah. that when you cheated on my mama and got yeah. her pregnant. I mean, I don't did, know. So did that cause the distance right there? Because when she looked at that thing and she said <laughs> I said, ooh, what was that Nova? So, yeah, like, hmm. So later on that night, everything, everything wind down. Dollar is still there with Charlie. And Charlie is very, she's used to the social circle. So she's very used to when things are winding down, let's pop a bottle. Let's, you know, take a drink. Yeah. You know, let it do what it do. So she brings out the bottle of wine and two glasses. And she looks at, um... Dollar. Dollar, the Barbie murderer. <laughs> and she was like, you know what? I'm so sorry. No, Bucker. 
Don't be walking on eggshells because she sold so for just give two it a, years. Just give it a wine? Just put it in front of her face. You in recovery, <laughs> God darn it. Recover. You wrong for that. Nah, you. I'm going to hell for that, ain't I? <laughs> Did y'all? She said, nah, I'm going to give you some tea. <laughs> she said, like, burn it back. I don't want no tea. <laughs> and I thought at first she was going to like, just no. give me a sip. Just give me a sip, yeah. So she like, said, I'm going to get you something. Can I get a sip for 15 cents? <laughs> <laughs> so she looks at um Charlie. She said, Charlie, I'm coming up on my two years of sobriety. You know, they're having a little get together for me and celebration of it. You know, would you be willing to come? And she was like, I'm honored that you would even ask me to come. And she said, Well, you've given me a chance, gave me this good job. Um, so I think, you know, I would love yeah. to have you there. So Charlie said, You know what? I would love to be there. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I said, Miss it. Mm. Just miss it. I don't <laughs> give a rat's egg. So, but I'm still trying to calculate this two years because last season she was the crackhead last season. Did we see her as a crackhead last season? I think we did. Well, I, she looked like one. Well, you know that first year you got to get it out your system. Like cause matter of fact, cause matter of fact, I don't she kept because she kept on trying to come back to get Ralph Angel. He was hitting it, but he wouldn't get back with her because she wasn't high. Mm -mm. She, she was, was no living high. in that trail. She was living in that trailer, but she was working that job that she just got fired from, and she okay. was trying to work her. She was trying to work her magic back into so, him. So you maybe maybe it was two years. So it, I give it to her. It's been two years, mm -hmm. but she's still doing crackhead moves, like um, <laughs> like J Judge Mathis say. So then we see um, Nova. She goes out there because now there's it's time to honor Daddy Boyd alone or whatever. And Nova walks out to the middle of the field and she, you know, she tells her mom, you know, I know you're here. You, f I feel your presence. You know, you're free as a bird because she said mama never wanted a tombstone. And I've heard people say that too. Mm -hmm. Like they don't want a tombstone because they don't want you to mark them in a place. They want to be free. So I understood it when she said that's what my mom said. And I said she's just like her freaking mama, mm -hmm. a free spirit. Spirit. Yeah. So then they go over there and they um, stand over daddy board alone's um grave and you know they stand at the tomb and they basically start confessing that and you know professing that we're going to continue the legacy mm -hmm. you know the land that you left for us is in good hands and they was like you can rest in peace now because we are going to carry the torch and i was like wait a minute which i'm not gonna do so you mess me up not gonna mess me up here today because <laughs> the scene column was kind of similar to it was when it first came yes. on when it's up on the canopy at the grave, and yeah. That, oh, I want they, that they just, painting. They just, they just didn't have the, all the white on this time. But. Rap Angel was smoother than a freaking <laughs> bowl of buttermilk that day, buddy. Uh -huh. I said you better represent for us chocolate tit tit <laughs> people, Rap Angel. God, don't I cry? So you know, she don't wear me a white shoe on a review one night. Boy, I ain't gonna be able to keep my hands off. Hey, they ain't going to get no review that guy doing night. I'm <laughs> tired. I promise you. Look, look for me on X videos that night. I might be there. So. <laughs> I can't with you today. I can't. I can't. <laughs> so, then, you know, all of a sudden, we saw Blue drop the goddamn Bobby doll down on the grave. He was like, fuck this. This ain't yeah, Kenya. Said, huh? This ain't this ain't my girl right here. Uh -uh. This, this is an imposter. <laughs> and I said, oh, skid, he about to have a meltdown. Uh -huh, it's about Look, to get real. He going to tear all these tubes. It's about up. to get real. And the meltdown was exactly it, because when they came back home, where he was at? Behind the curtain. <laughs> and he said, daddy, this ain't Kenya. This is not her. My man said, wow. It looked like Kenya to me. <laughs> he said she had a birthmark. And I gave it to her. And this was right here. And I said, is she darker too? Because Kenya was light skinned. And this baby is brown. <laughs> Dog, when I see you, I'm bucking you up on site. I promise you I am. It's going to be a misunderstanding? Oh, it's going. she going to understand it. And she better hope I miss. So... Ralph went ahead and had a truthful moment with his son. I love how Ralph Angel deals with his son. I really, really do. And he told him, he said, listen, son. <laughs> Ken, you got thrown away. He was he, Blue was like, huh? Did, did, did she do something wrong? <laughs> did I, I do, do something wrong? wrong? 
I said no. He said it was a mistake. It was just a mistake. But he wouldn't rat out Dollar though. He and he was cool with it. Yeah, he was cool with it. He said, oh, okay. And gave his daddy a hug. And he was like, daddy? I said, oh, hell. Why that lady call you, you a, a liar? liar. <laughs> and you know how when you see Ralph Angel, you can see his wheels start to turn. Mm -hmm. I said, don't, don't do it, Ralph. Who don't do it. All of a sudden, they at the table, they get ready to eat them some red fish. Now, before that, he said, I ain't going to lie no more. I ain't going to lie no more. He said, I ain't going to lie no more. He starts saying that. I said, oh, hell. He get, ready, he get ready to do something crazy. So the family already sitting at the table. They ready to grub. They said, Ralph Angel. We want you, you to pray. want you to say the grace. I said, no, no, no. Because if, if, if you don't go to church and you been to church, <laughs> people just don't pray. <laughs> they gonna tell a story. They gonna tell a story. They gonna tell about people's business. <laughs> in, the, in the prayer. All that's gonna be in the prayer. And you open your eyes and be like, would you sit down? <laughs> God darn it. So he started off praying and said, I thank you Lord for this food we about to receive <laughs> for the nourishment of our body. My daddy was a good man. I said, oh hell, <laughs> here you go. And said, he wanted me to be a better man. So you know what? I need to tell the truth. Y'all, I've been lying. I said, Daddy. He said, Dad left a will. He left a will. A handwritten one. And I found it. I said, well, what did it say? He left all this land. All to me and mine. Just me. Just me and mine. So, I said, Ralph Angel. Ralph Angel. Ralph Angel. It's like the time. See, so you know, finish. Just go ahead and pray over the food. That's how you be at church. Be like, just pray over the offering. <laughs> just, just pray over the offering. Nothing else. We don't want to hear about your feet. We don't hear about <laughs> what the doctor said. And we don't want to hear about your cholesterol. So, Charlie said, hold on, wait a minute. So, you been lying. He was like, no, I just didn't really tell you. And said, Aunt Vi, you knew about this? How long you been knowing about she this? Said, it ain't even like that. She, she, he said, I've been holding on to this. I found it a couple of months after daddy died. Mm -hmm. um, I, and she said, wait a minute, Ralph Angel. You mean to tell me you knew this and you blatantly lied to me. I uprooted my family. I moved here. Do you know what I had to do to get Queen Sugar Meal open? Do you know what I've gone through? Oh, but I know what this is about. This is all yours. But you won't hesitate to take my money worth. Yeah, you were using my, me. You used me. Ralph Angel said, it ain't even like, like that, that, Charlie. She said, oh, it is like that. It's just like that. You ain't nothing but a user. I said, oh, hell. The family gonna fall apart all over it's again. All, it's all going Look, to hell. Look, if I said, Michael, get take blue. blue and take him outside. And Michael was looking like, I hell, understand. I want to stay here to get this tea right here. I want to know what's going on. <laughs> I said, Ooh. See, he told he probably told Blue, you gonna run down the field, play right there. He probably opened the storm door with his foot. Yeah, yeah. Can't even mm -hmm. breathe. Uh -huh. <laughs> and look, if I one of the ones that can hear you, uh -huh. get out of that goddamn door. <laughs> Close it up. <laughs> Put the latch on it too. Mm. So then, all of a sudden, here come no. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. um, no. Dollar wanted to chime in, and she said, no, no, no. It wasn't mm -hmm. like that. He wasn't using you. Hollywood said, said we need to stay we out of us. Need to stay out of there. And that was so true. Yep. This family being there. Shut your mouth. Nothing up. To do with us. Look, she ain't had no lip then. She was like, okay. Uh-huh. So then Nova said, Mm-hmm. Daddy worked his fingers to the bone till the day he died. Scrubbing after folk, scrubbing floors. And washing out nasty toilets to put diapers on your son. Yeah, food, food on, on the, the table. table. And clothing on your back. And this is what you do. So Charlie turns around and said, what you talking about? Mm -hmm. She said, I found out yesterday that daddy had a job as a janitor to make ends meet around here. So then at this point... Everybody messed up. Our vibe messed up because yep. she must didn't know Hollywood. Hollywood, messed Hollywood up. over there with his guy doing cabaret outfit on like yeah, this. Like <laughs> he said, "Skin is too much going on in this guy's table." It's too much information coming out there. So Ralph A just said, "So this is my all, fault. You put y'all put this all, all on, on me. me." Said you was living your high life in in uh, Hollywood or California, and you know where you down the road twenty minutes and you ain't never came by. She said, "How do you know?" All them years, you won't hear either. 
he said, oh, I forgot. You out there running the race and saving all the black um, black brothers except for your own. I said, ooh. She said, it wasn't my fault that you got locked up. Yeah. But he brought up a good point, though. He did. And I've been waiting for him to bust her up with that. Yeah. So all of a sudden, Nova was like, I'm done. I'm out of here. I can't do this no more. And she went to run for that front door. I'm by, so, oh, no, 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 no. no, no. Mm -hmm. You will not leave here until we settle this. And we're going to settle it tonight. Not near and one of y'all going to leave this house. I'm going to put foot in somebody's heart. That's how you do it. And that's. Oh, I love me yeah. some of that. That's how you do it. And it basically went off from there. I was like, but at the end of the Skit. day, this is this is not Ralph Angel's fault. He did not write the letter. The only part that I would fault him is for waiting so long to tell him. But at the same time, if I was in the situation, was a lose -lose. how would you know what I'm saying? How you know? I think it was probably good for him to hold it back like that. So they, cause they would never got as far as they are now if he told them before all this got started. Cause they would've been like, well, he left it to you. Forget I, it. I ain't gonna do it. And they would never carry along the legacy. So I'm thinking, <clears throat> I'm trying to remember back to season one. That it, I thought there was a will that said that he wanted them to carry on the land and farm. It was, it was, it was it, but this is an amendment to the will. Oh, so the piece of paper writing was so the piece of paper was must have been the first one. No, the, the the paper that the lawyer had is the actual filed will. Okay, the one he filed. But this written one is the amendment that's still legal. Okay. Well, he just probably never got back to the lawyer to, right. to put it on file. Right. Oh, uh, okay. So by that time, he probably amended it because Ralph Angel got out of the jail and was helping him farm the land. Yeah. And none of them was coming back around. And he also, and even <laughs> Ralph Angel said, Daddy thought that I needed it the most. And yeah. to be honest, he really does. Yeah, he did. And he already knew what to do. He learned, so... But at the same time, he still needed them. He what, needed the hell he out needed, of them. He needed especially Charlie's money to fund his experience. So, so it, I'm not even mad at how Charlie feels because I would feel yeah. used too. You wait until all of this is done. You wait until the mill is open. Now, now, now you that can, you can, you can, we can actually grind our own cane. You got everything you need. Now all of a sudden, bow out. This, this is, is my your, land. And I guess I would be pissed too. So I guess in her mind is like, he can just take over all this right now. And, and I don't want my out. money. Which I know he's not going to do that. Ralph Angel Patty though. I told you he's I don't really think, emotional. But he can't he can't run that. He don't know the business side. He don't know that part. So he he definitely see the thing about it, they need Ralph Angel's experience. They need Remy's experience. He need they need Prosper experience. They need all the former experience. They need um Do they Charlie's, need Nova though? They need they need um <clears throat> Charlie's business experience. Because right. she got that. They need her money. Yeah. I don't know what they need, Mo. No, maybe they need Nova's weed when they get when they <laughs> when they clock out. They be tired, like shoot that door. <laughs> Had a tough day at the mill, boy. You know, but <laughs> I'm all right now. <laughs> so yeah, I I I can feel how everyone feels, but I I was hoping at the end of it, and maybe we will get there next week. That Ralph Angel was gonna be like, I know this is what Daddy said. But this is not what we gonna do. Yeah, this is what we, we gonna, gonna do, do this, like this equally. Yeah, the way that I know we should do it as siblings. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we get there because this right here. Oh, this 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 this, this is, is make a it break in a row. Yeah, this is the make a break right here. So yeah, if we don't turn this corner right, this eighteen wheel is gonna flip over. So now we gonna, I don't know. We gonna have sugar all over the streets. Yeah. So y'all, y'all gonna be out there like <laughs> straight from the PA, the dirty, dirty south, to, to, uh, to, to the, the holler.